Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are just tuning in, my name is Christabel. When you have finished watching this video, please go and check out all the other videos that I've done on my channel. Also, thank you for the 300 subscribers. Anyway, I'll be moving on from the human body and I'll be talking about the topic outer space. For this video, I'll be talking about some of the planets in the solar system. A solar system contains eight planets with the remainder being smaller objects, dwarf planets and small solar system bodies. The system also contains the Sun. The eight planets of the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Pluto is no longer considered as a planet anymore. It is a dwarf planet. Mercury. Mercury is the first planet, but it is not the hottest. It is the smallest planet and it has no moons. Mercury's rotation around its axis lasts 59 days and it takes 88 days to move around its orbit around the sun. Mercury is tidally locked with the sun and over time this has slowed the rotation of the planet to almost match its orbit around the sun. Despite being further from the sun, Venus experiences higher temperatures. The surface of Mercury which faces the sun sees temperatures of up to 427 degrees Celsius whilst on the alternate side this can be as low as minus 173 degrees Celsius. Mercury has just 38% of the gravity of Earth. This is too little to hold on to what atmosphere it has, which is blown away by solar winds. Venus Venus is the second planet from the Sun and it is the second largest terrestrial planet. It takes 243 Earth days to rotate once on its axis. The planet's orbit around the Sun takes 225 Earth days. A day on the surface of Venus takes 117 Earth days. Venus rotates clockwise, unlike the other planets, they rotate counterclockwise. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. The average surface temperature is 462 degrees Celsius, and because Venus does not tilt on its axis, there is no seasonal variation. The dense atmosphere of around 96.5% carbon dioxide traps heat and causes a greenhouse effect. The Earth and Venus are very similar in size with only a 638 km difference in diameter and Venus having 81.5% of the Earth's mass. Venus also does not have any moons. Earth. Earth is the planet we live on. It is the third planet from the Sun and it is the largest of the terrestrial planets. The Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours and it takes 365 days to complete a full revolution around the sun. The Earth is the densest planet in the solar system. The average density of the Earth is approximately 5.52 grams per cubic centimeter. The Earth's atmosphere has six layers.
recorded is in the speech. The stratosphere. The stratosphere starts just above the troposphere and extends 50 kilometers high. The ozone layer, which absorbs and scatters the solar ultraviolet radiation, can be found in this layer. The mesosphere. The mesosphere starts just above the stratosphere and extends to 85 kilometers. Meteors burn up in this layer. The thermosphere. The thermosphere starts above the mesosphere and extends to 600 kilometers high. Auroras occur in this layer. Ionosphere. The ionosphere contains a high concentration of ions and B electrons and is able to reflect radio waves. It stretches from about 40 kilometers above the surface to the edge of space at about 965 kilometers, overlapping into the mesosphere and the thermosphere. Exosphere. The exosphere is the upper limit of our atmosphere. It extends from the top of the thermosphere up to 10,000 kilometers. Earth has one moon. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and it is the second smallest planet in the solar system. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere made of carbon dioxide. It takes Mars 687 Earth days to complete one full revolution around the Sun. It takes 24.6 hours for Mars to complete one full rotation on its axis. During the Martian day, the sky is a pinkish red. At the closest point to the sun, the Martian southern hemisphere leans towards the sun, causing a short intensely hot summer, while the northern hemisphere endures a brief cold winter. At its farthest point from the sun, the Martian Northern Hemisphere leans towards the sun, causing a long mild summer, while the Southern Hemisphere endures a lengthy cold winter. Mars is home to the tallest mountain in the solar system. Olympus Mons, a shield, a shield volcano, is 21 kilometers high and 600 kilometers in diameter. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system. They can last for months and, co and can cover the entire planet. The seasons are extreme because its elliptical orbital path around the sun is more elongated than most other, than most other planets in the solar system. Mars has two moons called Phobos and Dionysus. These moons are among the smallest natural satellites in the solar system. Ganymede is the largest satellite in the solar system. It is one out of Jupiter's many moons. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss an upload.